Zhang Jiaqiao, 200 kilometers northwest of Beijing, will host freestyle skiing and snowboarding, cross-country skiing, and ski jumping. The problem is, it rarely snows, so for several weeks, snow machines have been churning out artificial snow. Site manager Jacques Fournier has a difficult job. Here is no humidity. It's very dry, and it's a lot of wind. For the first time, the Beijing Winter Olympics will use almost 100% artificial snow. But a new report warns athletes' safety could be at risk. In sports like biathlon、um, or cross-country skiing or any of the freestyle events where an athlete is flinging themselves into the air, flipping around and falling, you would want the surface to be a little softer. And the problem with artificial snow is that it's about seventy percent ice compared to natural snow, which is about thirty percent ice, and so the surface is much, much harder. American snowboarder Taylor Gold is preparing for Beijing. During his first Olympics in the Russian resort of Sochi in 2014, he recalls the halfpipe melting. They were spraying some chemicals on it to try to get it to stay in shape, but if you go back and watch that event, it's clear. It was really warm. <laughs> It was not ideal for snowboarding. Critics say the climate of both Sochi and Beijing are unsuitable to host the Winter Olympics. But even high-altitude mountain ski resorts that have traditionally hosted the games are at risk because of climate change. The northeast of the U.S., for example, eastern Canada,、uh, we are losing significant amounts of snow there. And then in places like the Rockies and the Alps, we just don't have quite as much as we used to. So the challenge moving forward is going to be where can we put these events? And with the Winter Olympics, we're already kind of there. Using artificial snow also causes environmental damage. Previous research has shown that that can be damaging to local wildlife,、um, but we also expect that you know when you're creating that much snow, the energy usage is extraordinary.、Uh, the amount of water is extraordinary. In this Olympics, we're ex-、um, expecting 49 million gallons of water to be used. The Chinese organizers insist the games will be carbon neutral. All venues are expected to be powered by renewable energy. Ice rinks will use natural CO2 technology for cooling instead of ozone-damaging hydrofluorocarbons, and some athletes prefer artificial snow. The snow is actually really amazing, the man-made stuff, and I think because of how cold it is, it's really you have to be really aggressive with how you ride.、Um, but you know, you just have to adapt. Olympic organizers will also have to adapt. The Loughborough University report warns that by 2050, fewer than half of the resorts that have hosted the Winter Olympics up till now will have viable snowfall. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.